Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Died Twice. I'm gonna go back into the cave. I, I don't know that I'm going to make it all the way through the cave. I don't know what that one thing that was down there and snarling. I don't know what it is. I don't know how quickly it's gonna kill me, but I at least want to see what it is for now. So we're gonna go back in, and then likely once we get our uh, Tukus, <clears throat> excuse me, handed to us, We'll be heading right back to where we just were, and we'll continue on from there. This game has already proved to be very difficult, so for them to actually warn us about this cave, and what is in it, I'm not so sure uh, I'm ready. The Headless. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just a mini-boss, right? I... Wow, this is... I'm moving very slowly. Why am I moving so slowly? And he just disappeared. Oh, he's right behind me. I can't move. What? The newcomer. Oh, and this is Aniyama. So Aniyama is now afflicted with Dragon Rot. Well, I don't think I want to even go back to the Headless, even though I had next to no opportunity to attack him. I don't think I'm going to go back. Maybe that's something where I need to use one of those consumables, maybe Divine Confetti. What? What was that? What just happened here? With the shaking and whatnot. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Don't see any enemies. Just a lot of ledges. Kind of eerily quiet so far. Mid-air grappling hook. Yeah, I've been doing that for quite a while there, game. Kind of a kind of a bit late to the party, don't you think? So another branch there. Oh goodness. Is this an actual cave? No, just a little outcrop. Oh, oh my goodness. There it is. Oh. There's a snake I've been looking for ever since I saw his skin. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love everything about it. He is searching, isn't he? So I need to stealth past him. Now, as a snake, he should have a really, really good sense of smell. Which means that I don't even know if hiding in the grass is going to be the way to go about it, but we'll try it. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you totally said You didn't see me. He did not see me. He's looking, so there's my next grapple point right there. Go, go, go. And run, run, run into the cave. Ooh. That just, that gave me a little bit of a fright. Now I'm assuming he's gonna move on to the next location. Right, okay, I like this. I like this mostly just because I like snakes. Oh, and there he is. So where is he going to be scouting now? Uh-oh.
He almost saw me there. So I need to get to that grass. Okay, I think what I need to do is maybe hug this wall around this way. Am I going to have to sneak under him? Like this? Maybe? He's, he's very close right now. Um, oh, I'm sure if I touch him, he's going to know where I'm at, right? I don't know if this is safe here. Where is he? Well, here goes nothing. Where do I go from here, though? Uh-oh. Don't move. Is this just going to be a, a break for it? What, am I going to that little shack? I'm almost thinking I have to go to that little shack. Maybe I can get inside it. Yes, I can enter it. <sighs> oh my goodness, I got him in the eye. He might be angry now, though. He doesn't seem thrilled. Is he ever going to stop writhing? Because it looked like there might have been an item over there. Oh! Goodness! Oh. Go! He's still coming. He's still coming. Do not look back. Oh! Time to run! Right, well that was easy. Found another sculptor idol. Got some Gaikin sugar, and um, yeah, I just got chased by a really, really large serpent. And I don't even know how I got here, but I got here. And now he's suddenly gone. Oh, oh. what even is this? Oh, it's one, of, it's one of these guys again. And I don't know what you are. I don't want to be poisoned, though, that's for sure. I still don't know what that mysterious creature is. Ooh. Herb catalog scrap. A page torn from the Ashina Herb catalog, a compendium of flowers and herbs. The snap seed naturally grows in ravines and deep valleys, according to denizens of the Sunken Valley. Of course. There's going to be a sunken valley. So there's going to be a large swamp full of rotting corpses and poison. Got it. Such places are appropriate for offering oneself in marriage to the great serpent. If one wishes to become a bride, they must enter the belly of the serpent in the valley. Oh, of course. So we're not done with this serpent. And that's honestly, that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Um, tell you what. Can I... There's no way I can make it there. Although... Although... I may try something a little foolish. I mean, I am right at a shrine or a sculptor's idol. If I jump here... I can grab that in midair. Of course, this just brings me back to where the snake was. 
which means that there may be something for me to collect. Sorry, all the, uh, for all the rock carns here that I'm breaking. And it's a snap seed. Good for five snap seeds, that is. That may have been worth it. We only got the one from, and again, I believe it was in Elske, when we were back in the memory at Harata State. I tried to use it against Lady Butterfly, and it did work, but it was not necessary in the long run. That might be something I need when I'm going to try fighting the Headless again, perhaps? Oh, careful. Oh, that's a big guy. Let's just loop around to... He's actually looking for something. Let's drop. And actually, we can hug the wall. Don't think he can quite see me. Echo Sugar. Good for, I believe that's attack power. Wow, that's that's a big guy with a club. Yep, not how we're going to attack this situation. We will go back around this way. Get up nice and high. Something glowing over there. Oh, we can eavesdrop. Look, a smoke signal from the Great Castle Gate. Is it Lord Gyobu? Yes, that's definitely Gyobu the demon. Asuna is safe so long as that man guards her doors. Gyobu the demon. That sounds like a boss if ever I've heard one. Let's just keep looking around to see... Oh, you alone? I think I can take you out relatively safely. Without anyone else knowing. You are tending over a dead horse, it looks like. Oh, I can eavesdrop. little bit of a tip there it seems like so if I run into any enemies with a horse I need some gunpowder which I have picked some up granted I don't know exactly how to use it yet yeah let's keep sneaking around this way this seems to be working out pretty well it's up top of the stairs an item but what's around the corner Shockingly doesn't open from this side. I know none of us saw that coming I don't wow not oops not really many enemies around here Uh Oh that's a smoke signal from Gyobu, and look at all the corpses. That's it. That's a boss battle. Yep, that whole arena is going to be a boss battle with Gyobu. I don't know who that is yet, but it doesn't sound like it's going to be all that simple. So I want to clear this. How far is this guy going to come? So if I can jump onto him. I don't know why that wasn't an automatic kill. I actually can probably hide under this ledge. Who's crying? It's a remnant, that's what this smoke was. We will 
listen to that just as soon as we've cleared this. Where's that really big guy? Oh, he's down below. He's actually stuck, it seems. Which, that works for me. If I can just get behind this guy. Quick, 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 quick. Disappear. Actually, you know what? What I can do... Get on this side of the wall. In fact, I can just drop straight down. I can't believe this is going to work, but alright. And then... don't know. Oh, actually, I can go, I can perch right there. There we go, there's the Makiri. Now I just have this guy who's really sad and really confused. Oh, that is... That is grotesque. Ceramic shard. Another balloon of wealth. And a heavy coin purse. Not sure how much that's worth exactly. So this was pretty well cleared out, I think. Which means now I have to go fight Yobu. I have a feeling that this is not going to be a mini boss. I think this is going to be another actual boss encounter. And that's really just judging by the fact that, well, I've only had one, but also look at this arena. Now, I got the gunpowder. Is it something I can just use? No. So, how do I actually use it? Is it a key item? No. Okay, it's an upgrade material. It says it's for alchemical prosthetic tool upgrades, including those of an explosive and occultic nature. But I don't know how to use that. <sighs> What's going to happen when I drop? Let's, let's see. I mean, look at all these corpses. Can I open this? No. I'm sure I'm going to get a cutscene just as soon as I get somewhere into the middle of this arena. Wow. Oh, goodness. Oh. So when he... Oh, goodness. Oh, heavens. Um, let's resurrect. Can I grapple onto anything? It looked like I could grapple onto him. That didn't work. So you... This, so this definitely tells me I need to get some black powder somehow. 
Aha. That is good right there. So I need to look for those opportunities. Oh. He's almost ready for his first death blow, though. He's very close to his first death blow, in fact. There's one. Okay. There's one. Careful now. Oh. Alright, need to heal. I need to stay close enough so that I can use the grapple when it's time. I wish I had my uh, black powder, however I could use it. Gotta keep sprinting though, that seems to be key. Good block, or deflection I should say. You know what? Hmm. I wish I had my shurikens. I wonder if he has another phase after this, though. Oh. Oh. I don't think I want to be anywhere near that. Back up, back up, back up. Almost got him. Did I really just get him? Gyobu the demon? Um. No? Somehow? What about now? Oh, I actually killed him. I killed a boss first try. I'm uh, fairly impressed with myself. <laughs> battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Commune with a sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. Gyobu Masataka Oniwa was keeper of the Ashina Castle Gate. Mechanical barrel. Oh, so this is a prosthetic tool. It appears to have been made fit to perfectly fit inside the wrist bone. A reinforced core is sure to make a shinobi's fangs even sharper. So mechanical barrel. Ah, this is how I do my upgrades. That is going to prove extremely useful. Wow, we actually just took out our second boss. I am overwhelmingly pleased with myself. <laughs> and it just so happens that I do have an idol right here. But there's at least one item on the ground somewhere. Where was it? Right here. So what is this? Fistful of Ash, I bet I could have used that against him, perhaps? 
Well, let's go back. Let's go talk to the sculptor and see what we can start upgrading. And also, let's open this first. And then we have that way as well. Alright, back to the dilapidated temple. So I don't have anything to talk to Emma about, I don't believe. Oh, I see you've acquired something quite interesting. A mechanical barrel. It's a mechanism that can serve as the very core of the prosthetic. Hand it here. I'll fit it to the arm for you. What difference does the barrel make? With a versatile base such as this, I can use various purifying agents to further hone that fang of yours. Purifying agents? Purifying agents are materials that can be used together with the barrel. Things like gunpowder and scrap metal. So if you find something of that sort, be sure to bring it my way. Aha, so we can upgrade now. Now I do have scrap iron, I have gunpowder, and I do have that one item that I can buy from Anayama. Oh, hey, there's kind of a lot here. Wow. Way more than I thought. So for the shurikens, for three scrap metal, which I have, I get the spinning shuriken. An enhanced shuriken that can be empowered with rotational energy. Take a moment to further bend the spring and build rotational energy will cause the blade to rotate after landing, damaging the enemy multiple times on hit. Okay, I like that. And what about the axe upgrade? It takes five of the scrap iron and it says that storing and unleashing energy in the spring mechanism allows for large sweeping attacks information locked what's this one unavailable because I need four gunpowder hmm sends opponents flying though that sounds really cool so I can get this one I'm feel like I might as well. Tier 3 information is now unlocked. Okay, so now I can actually read about these. Gouging top, aged feather. Oh, there are a lot of upgrades. A lot of upgrades. Well, I definitely think I should probably use my shurikens a bit more now. Not to mention, we should... Go ahead and enhance our attack power. Confront memory Gyobu. He once led a group of infamous bandits but was defeated by Ishin, who was so captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Genichiro Ashina's most trusted retainer. Attack power has been enhanced. Attack power is now three. Very, very good. Very, very good. Well, yes, back to the gates. The Ashina Castle Gate. Let's see what there is next. That definitely seems like it's the way forward, which means I want to go this way. Take a look at this large temple, see what goodies might be hiding inside. That was a good little fight. You had to stay mobile. Had to stay... Oh. Moving very quickly. That looks like... One of the shinobi that I fought in the Harata Estates. Right before I got the Mist Raven Feather. Oh, and there's more of them. I don't like the look of that. Anything down here? Nope. There is the shrine going right that way towards the headless cave. Yeah, this is, uh... This could be problematic. That guy is not really paying attention. So either I'm going to sneak up and get an easy kill on him, or he's going to surprise me and prove to be incredibly difficult. Is this... 
Is this Aniyama or is this a different merchant? This is not Aniyama. Care to purchase an offering? An offering. An offering. Indeed. I sell items to be offered to the dead so they might rest in peace. From the looks of you, I'd wager you have a lot of blood on your hands. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Oh, this is the memorial mob. I've seen this in the loading screens. I can even sell items. Divine grass is worth 300. A dragon's blood droplet's only worth 80. Heavy coin purse is worth 500. Bulging is worth 1,000. So I think these are the same values that you would get if you just were to use them. Black gunpowder is only worth 20. What do you sell though? You sell a gourd seed for a thousand. That's absolutely worth it. You sell firecrackers, which is a prosthetic tool. So I have firecrackers for 500, a gourd seed for a thousand, 3,000 for the other upgrade material from Anayama. And I could actually buy these, which is really good. Seems like he only has one though. That's okay. That's good to know. You'll find the memorial mob wherever your travels take you. Make sure you bring some offerings. When he says that, any t any place where there's departed, I wonder if it means specifically after a boss encounter. Oh, I just sheathed my katana. Another rat. Hmm. Ah, but those eyes. A starving wolf. Before I kill you, tell me your name. Tell me your name! <laughs> no name to give. You should know me all the same. You die nameless, with no one to mourn you. However, your left arm. A prosthetic shinobi arm. It reminds me of... <laughs> That's it. A one-armed wolf. I like it. Which means Sekiro. That is what I shall name you. Who are you? <laughs> I am the Tengu of Ashina. Come, Sekiro. Care to hunt some rats with me? What? Rats have snuck into Ashina, scurrying about like they own the place. There are all kinds of rats out there, and they must be cut down. Every last one of them. It seems you have a talent for killing. Allow me to help you hone that talent. What'll it be, Sekiro? Will you hunt rats with me? Oh, absolutely, especially if it means these other shinobis. No. Oh. <laughs> Not interested. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Tell me if you come around. Okay, I've come around. What'll it be, Sekiro? Feel like I'm... Very well. Excellent. You'll need this if you're with me, Sekiro. Rat description. Speak to the Tengu again once the rats are dealt with the rats. Assassins from Senpu Temple. Short stature, wear bamboo hats, a number of rats are lurking about, last seen around Ashna Castle Gate. I've actually killed two of these. Short stature, wearing bamboo hats, yeah, I've killed two. What is this? <laughs> the face of a rat, and where it makes its home. Go, and kill it. If you do, I will give you something that will aid you in battle. So can I talk to you because I've killed two of them? Go, and if you do... No. So it seems like maybe I have to kill them now. Otherwise, the ones that I've killed don't count, or he wasn't trying to kill those ones yet. There's the door that didn't open from that side, and who, pray tell, are you? Oh, you survived. That accursed Gyobu's finally a corpse, I take it. <clears throat> that changes nothing, you know. There'll be more wars, there'll be more corpses, and deep-seated hatred will run wild. Where's all that hatred go? Haven't you ever wondered? 
Guess not. Guess you haven't. That's why I pity you. And I pitied him. Now then, be gone already. There's no end to war, no matter what this old hag says. Your duties will never change either. That's just how it is. Now then, there's your back. Hmm. Not a whole lot to say, that old hag. But what do we have up here? I can't even take my weapon out. But I can do some climbing. And climb we shall. To see what is hiding up here. There's got to be more to it. Assuming I can maybe grapple to... Or can I just grab that? Seems like maybe I should be able to grab that. Indeed I can. And we have a treasure chest. A prayer bead. That makes three of four, I think. Unless that's four of four. Three. One more, and we'll get another upgrade. Great. I'll tell you what, I think it is actually about time that we call this a part. So let's go back to the dilapidated temple. We're going to wrap up there before we start getting into the Ashina Castle, or at least approaching the Ashina Castle. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. So we've now killed two bosses officially. We've killed Lady Butterfly and Gyobu the Demon. Killed a number of the mini bosses. Also, I just realized that Hanbei, since he is the Undying and apparently already infected, he doesn't seem to be coming down with Dragon Rot, unlike the other NPCs that I'm slowly killing. Hmm. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of Sekido Shadows Die Twice. We now have a name, thanks to the Tango of Ashina. Very cool. Well, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Are you playing? And if so, how are you finding the combat? Are you getting used to the mechanics? Is this your first FromSoft game? And if it's not, if you're a seasoned Souls player, Soulsborne player, are you struggling like I was in the beginning? Trying to play like a Souls player and just getting killed over and over again? Let me know. But I hope you're still enjoying. I hope you're having a chance to enjoy this game for yourself. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time.